Hi, Floss Tube. It's Janet. Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 130. If you're new to my channel, this is a channel about cross stitch, so I hope that's what you're here for. If you're a new friend, I hope you sit down, like what you see, comment, subscribe, do all the things. If you're a returning friend, thank you so much for coming to spend time with me this week again. Um, yes, Opie, as soon as I set up everything, he comes right in here to sit, but we're going to work around him until he, like, gets in the way. <laughs> um, all right. So last week we talked about spring on here and it is officially here. Um, there is so much love for spring. Thank you so much. I wrote notes like go, the flowers and the weather and dog walks. I am definitely a fair weather dog walker or walker in general. So this little guy does not go on walks because he Peter's out in no time and then I have to carry him, but I, t I walk my um, German Shepherd and my Black Lab for sure. Um, if, if he was to become going, I would need to um, get a poncho for me to wear or something for him to wear, me to wear with him because it hurts my arm to carry him and to have two dogs dealing with him. Anyway, enough about my dog walks. That's not what you're here for. You're here for the stitching. I have one thing to, um, one thing to, a question to answer before we jump into a couple other things. Um, first of all, I believe um, this is the piece that uh, was being asked by Rebecca about. It sits right here. So I hope this is the piece you're asking about. So sunshine on a stem. I believe this is a hands-on design um, piece that I got that came with the little, uh, wool or felt or whatever for the leaves if you can see that so um i hope this is the piece you're asking about if not we'll we'll get in on it to figure out exactly what piece it was speaking of pieces this is not safe speaking of pieces if you'll notice i got my spring spring um little little house needleworks spring um piece up i spring is in my house i have changed all my decorations uh to that so that was fun um, I love seeing the change of the colors. So, um, all right, I have one thing to talk to you about before we jump into the stitching. And that is this. I was contacted by Molly Ollie Bags. You've seen a, a few other stitchers uh, mention these on here. It's a, a tote, I believe it's normally used for um, diaper bags, but it is definitely a crafter bag too. There are there's a, it's a big old insert in here. These things let you design how you want. I keep them out and just put the um, project bags in there. They sit in there like this. Um, there's pockets on the side. There's a zippy pocket on this end so you can not lose stuff. I can slide scissors right in here, pens in there. This is a beautiful little tote um, that I am very happy to share with you. So I'm going to sit it right here and I want to read off a couple of things. So this is, I mentioned it's the Molly Ollie tote written right there and it's called a um, Mimo Caddy. So the things it has, it is very good quality. It's soft. So as it's not going to scratch like catch and stuff, it's a chemical free material. Um, the shape holds itself even when it's empty, which is a very much plus. I don't, bags that collapse can be, eh. Um, and the, again, I mentioned the pocket on the side um, and the organizer band in the middle for smaller items, but for cross stitching, for my purpose of it, I won't be using those bands in the middle. So uh, I will have a link below um, in the video on where you can get this for the Amazon um, by, or I mean, not the Amazon, the website. So um, if you would like to check that out, this is cute. There are many colors. Um, this is just the one they sent to me. So uh yeah i hope you check it out and like it like i said i've heard seen another, a few other floss tubers using this um and it's a cool little tote to like sit next to me and because since i'm a multi-project stitcher it lets me like stack them in there and keep them together versus spilling and everything so that is really cool thank you very much for sharing that with me um and allowing me to share it with my people um all right, so beyond that, I wanna talk about other links that you're gonna find in the drop down blocks below. Again, the Happy Mail form is down there if you wanna get added to my Happy Mail list. Once you add yourself to it, you're good unless you have a change in your information, then you can change it. I use that to send out um, 
letters and uh, little cards and whatnot. So that is that. And then we are jumping into this little guy is falling. Um, the giveaways from last week. My giveaways from last week. Uh, we let's have why we were talking about spring. So there you go. All right, I'm gonna show the piece and say the name or and put the name on here of who it was. So uh, my number one is Nanette McDouglas Dykes. <laughs> Congratulations. Number two is Kim La. Number three is the Jim Stitcher. Number four is Sherry. MacArthur, and number five is Kathy F. These names are your YouTube names, so you will need to, um, that's how you're signed into YouTube, and that's how it shows up in my comments. Get me your information at janetjabber at gmail.com, and I will get those sent out to you. It's very exciting. All right, so one other thing I like to do on here is a featured friends um, segment. Um, this one, I'm going to pop the picture up here, is brought to us by Rebecca, the same one that had the question. Um, she was part of the Oracle Sal on Facebook, the 21, 21 challenge last year by uh, Rochelle from Canada. This design is a Halloween Quaker and it was released uh, about every two weeks. Uh, the color combination, she, she loves seeing the different color combinations in the group and seeing what color palettes were done. She dyed her own Ada fabric and was thrilled how it turned out. Uh, and then... Let me see. I think that's pretty much it. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, she, she was going on to tell me how she uh, sent it to me uh, for, she pressed it and cleaned it up before she sent it to me. Sorry, I was freaking. Um, all right, so thank you very much, Rebecca, for sending that. That is a very beautiful, and your coloring job was great on that. It is, do you see this? happening right here now somebody else is coming to join us all right ollie you can't sorry guys i don't know they just all want to be around here all right so let's jump into the stitching that i have um i have two fit they're gonna get me all discobulated um i have two finishes this week the first one is a piece that is uh a freebie from helen d it's called Patrick and I chose these colors to stitch on. This is just a scrap of Tree Hugger. The top row is Blue Spruce by Classic Color Works. Nope, by Gast. The second one is Confederate by Weeks Dye Works. The third row, Spring Grass is by Gast. And the final row is just, D it's DMC 310 and then I used one of their glitter ones, that zero, uh, that O. Oh, is a C725 to give it a little bit of shimmer. So, okay, Opie, you gotta get down. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that was one of my finishes for this week. My second finish for this week is one of the springs from the Well-Rounded by um, Hands on Design. So this will be the first one. You'll see one of these a month in the month of spring. So those are cute. That is stitched on, let me look. I don't have it written down. I will have to tell you that next month because I don't have a window. Good job, Janet. It looks like a cream color to me. <laughs> All right, so I am prepared to jump into my stitching and here is what we've got. This is the last time you will see this piece because spring popped in and winter went away and my winter queen is going away. So this is my winter queen by Mirabilia. We're gonna see where my stopping point is for now. Don't forget, there's 30 days of winter at the end of this year, so it'll come back out. This is where she's at and she's going away. Um, I stitched in this area right here some more and right here. So this is our stopping point for now. And I know there's many of you that are sad to see her go, but I like getting my stitching in the season. So um, she'll go away and spring is coming out. Spring is coming out right now. So here is what I have for you. Let me unzip it, I didn't have spring prepared. As a refresher, if you've not seen her before or in a while, this is my Spring Queen by Mirabilia. She is stitched on a color and cotton 28 count white tee. And 
this is where she is at. Oh, she's so pretty. I did work on her for um, since the beginning of spring. I dabbled over here in this little thing and up here in her bouquet. So she is lovely and she'll be fun to watch see how fast she grows and see what we do there. All right, other stitching. Whew, I feel like I'm having a hot flash. Um, <laughs> other stitching, let's jump into this. I have been working on um, Princey Stitches, uh, Stitchy Princesses piece that I had got, uh, Magical Swamp. This is on the 32 Count Tree Hugger by Be Stitch Me. And this is where I'm at. So I finished filling in the sun and that little frog is the cutest. Do you see him? He is the cutest. I had so much fun stitching him that I see Amy, I see your love of little frogs. He was so fun to stitch and I felt like he had like personality just jumping out at me. It was fun. All right, so Opie got down, but that cat, Ollie, um, got off this part of the table, but there's a, a little side table here and he is camping out. All right, my next piece is Pandemic by Sarcy Girl. I will pop a picture in here, what it's supposed to look like. And here is where I'm at. This is on a piece of 32 count um died per her instructions and uh you can see mine is greatly different i will not have the houses i'm picking elements in her piece that i uh just want to highlight so what i did this last week was the fox and the rooster i changed up the colors even in the rooster so i love how it's turning out i feel like i got a couple more months on that because i only stitch on it once a month and um that will be that my next one was, is my whip go? So, um, whew, this was a hard one for me to get done. And I know that I've still got plenty of time, but it was, I was on the struggle bus because it was ba the back stitching and I was just struggling with it. So this is where it's at. And I'm off by one down at the bottom, but I don't even care. I probably should rip out some, I don't even care. Um, but it, it, you can't really tell. You just can't really tell. Up in the roof, there is, back stitching in between those things um and it was a pattern you had to follow and it's done <laughs> it's done so that's fun this is on the fabric that came in their kit that I then um dyed and um baked a little bit to give some color to it so that was fun uh, my next piece that I worked on and I've worked on this quite a bit is year one from the Black Needle Society's um, frog warts event. This is stitched on a piece of 32 count vintage country mocha. And I'm super happy with this. I am down to the mirror. Oops. There it is. So I, since I have seen you last, I feel like I have, I know I've added this guy and this bean and this bean, maybe even the key and it's got each wall in it. So I've not done the back stitching yet. Oh, and I stitched a little bit more down here because that's just fill in. So um, I am down to just the mirror. So it's this section. It's about 6,000 stitches. Um, I'm going to edit it and do the version that Athena did where she has the mother and father looking into it. Um, it's very more, it's very meaningful to me that I, I think I, I like that change of the parents looking in. I can get very sentimental and that is what that is about. So. Um, all right, my stitching that I do every week is <clears throat> Mill Hill Monday. We'll do we'll show you what I got on there. I am stitching Spring Bouquet by and it's called Spring Ahead. And this is where I'm at on it. I feel like I've got one more color thread and then it's beading. So this is gonna come along. Who knows? We'll see what that gives us next week. Um nope, that's I'm I'm creating it bigger mess than normal because these animals are everywhere. <laughs> My next one is Wicked Wednesday and this one may be done next week also. No spiders yet. Next week there'll be spiders. So I got all of this webbing done at the top. Um, I had part of one side. I had part of this side done and I finished it all up. So uh, I don't see much left on there. So unless I have a really rotten day, I should be able to get that done. I don't know why this cat's here. <laughs> He doesn't, he's like a stinker. He doesn't usually want nothing to do with us. 
Uh, my next piece is uh, Festive Friday and I'm doing um, Stevie, Spooky and Stevie's piece that's Milk and Cookies. And can I have my piece? It's on a 32 count white. And this is where I'm at on it. I got the big part of the words done. Milk and Cookie Company. I love that font. That was commented last week. Yes, that font is gorgeous. I love it. And um, we'll see where I get on that next week. Okay, you need to sit. Ugh. You guys, it's a zoo in here. All right, so that is for my stitching. Um, Opie. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I am completely lost right now. Okay, that is my stitching. I don't have any other stitching to show. I do have some haul to show um, that I want to share with you. Do you see this? He's trying to bite me now. I'm trying to keep him from knocking my stuff over. All right. Um, I want to show you some of my haul, which I don't usually have haul every single week. So the fact that I have like, I feel like more than normal, I still want to share it with you. One, this was off of Amazon and I know I can get it at needle shops, but I was in that, eh, I just want it now. So yeah, I fell and went to Amazon, but I needed these thimble pads and they, uh, come in handy when I get a spot on my hand where it's too sore. I know problems, right? That means I'm stitching too much. Mm. Oh, well, uh, I needed it. They work great. They're reusable. That's a very much a plus for me. Um, my next one, if you've not received your um, fabric from Grace Note Stitches for their fabric of the month, please look away while I share. Um, this is the name of it. And I switched to the 32 count, so Lugana, and this is what it is. I love it. It's right up my alley. If you if you know me, you know me. So, oh, my little note from them. Sorry, reaching, which means I lost my sticker somewhere. I'll find it. But I got a little note from the family. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know where the note, the little sticker went. These guys are wild. That's probably part of the problem here. Okay. Um, a couple other things I got in was, if you remember, I'm doing the Berry Club. So I went to the wool place that Helen D recommends. Gabby's making an appearance too, guys. It's wild. Gabby, come up here. Come up here. They see, there's my girl. All right, back down. I know, back down. Get down for right now. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> L&D. Uh, Ruby, Ruby Dye Works is the name of it. So this is the autumn pack and the winter pack. Looking forward to doing those. Oh my gosh, you guys. Gabby just hit my phone or my recording device. Obi Bark. I'm sorry. <sighs> Let's get through this. <laughs> All right. So I placed an order with Bobby from um, Pumpkin Creek Primitives because... When she did her floss sweep, I was terrified that these were going to disappear before I could get my order in. So, yep, did that real quick. She always sends a goodie pack. This is what I was hoping for when I saw her video. So, this is Praiseworthy Stitches We Quaker Berry Kit. And it is the full kit. And then I saw this and it's an Erica Michaels channeling Coco. Um, Who I love this. And on the back, I don't know if these are different. It's got to be different ones. So I haven't even opened it up, but it says there's this one on the back um, also. So love them. They're dear. This is my jam. So that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> All right. And then last but not. Opie. You guys, I'm so sorry. I'm almost done and he's going to be bargain. Um, my last but not least was a one, two, three stitch. <clears throat> because Jessica said I needed to go here. I needed to get uh, a new card for my DMC. Mine is probably from the 80s somewhere. Uh, not 80s. A bird flew through my backyard now. Not a bird, like a big, a big thing, a goose or a duck. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> you've never seen me so disorientated. All right, I, I have one that's the yellow gold color one, so it's probably from the two, early 2000s, somewhere in there. I definitely needed an updated one. Um, and then Lizzie, look away. Lizzie and Colton, if you're watching this, look away. Um, this, kind, this saying is something that Mr. Colton grew up with, so I had to, Lizzie had requested it, and I 
found one that I thought was pleasant. So Bushel and Peck by La Dida. And I know that they probably didn't look away because they're stinkers. And last but not least, I uh, have been wanting to do a hands-on design, but none of those really speak to me. And this one spoke to me and yeah, it had to happen. So I don't know when it's gonna happen, but it had to happen. So this is one of the little books and this is Memories of the Past. And, and it just speaks to me. It just speaks to me. <laughs> So had to have it. I can't wait to uh, to jump in on that. It seems like really bright for me. So I don't know if you might watch me do a few changes. I don't know if that's against the cardinal rule. I don't know. But um, I would rather them be like more oranges and like warmer tones. But then I don't know. I look at this and I'm like, it would look fabulous in this room. So we'll see. We'll see. That's it. That's all the stuff I bought. That's all the stuff uh, I've stitched on this week. Whew. If you stuck with me through this whole thing, thank you so much with all the craziness. I'm not usually, it's not usually like that around here. Um, my plans for this week. Uh, I, I look forward to diving into more of my spring queen. I've got a berry I need to get done for the month of March. I'm going to work on my magical swamp some more. Um, Hello Petal. The bear, I'm changing the colors on it, if you recall, to what um, Evelyn Across the Pond has. So... I got some plans for this week. We'll just see if that comes through. Um, on to personal stuff. Uh, I mentioned last week that I had a mammogram and a couple appointments. The mammogram went great. Got results already that it's I am normal. <laughs> uh, I also went and seen the tax lady. That wasn't too horribly painful. I mean, it was painful during the process, but it wasn't. It's over with. <laughs> um, this week, I have a follow-up on my teeth. Yeah. I think that's it. I'm thinking in my head, what else do I plan for this week? I'm working a couple of days of uh, a couple 12 hour days again this week. I had a couple people comment the reason my dogs and we're all up in it and maybe this cat too um, are all about my business is because they need extra time since I'm working extra. And that's probably true because they're used to having me home during the day, but it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. So, um, all right, I'm going to get off of here. Um, rambling. You've seen like all but one of my animals today. <laughs> Again, thank you for sticking around with me and I uh, will be coming at you again next week. So keep stitching, enjoy life, and I'm sending so much love. Bye.